Welcome to Food All You Never Wanted to Know. Today I'm going to show you a very simple way to give your plants some sun in the middle of the winter. As you can see, it's a nice day here, but very cold. Well, right now it's in the low 30s. Last night it hit 23, I believe. It was chilly. And we actually woke up this morning with no power. So I am real glad to try play around with this. <laughs> As you see, and you can see my shadow here too. Here at the back is one of those really cheapy things that people used to put on their car windows to keep the sun out. Um, I bought it for a dollar somewhere at a, maybe it was a, I don't know, yard sale or something. This is a bucket, storage bucket that we just kind of picked up somewhere. It's cloudy, so clear or cloudy is good. And as you can see, I've put some plastic water bottles around the edge and underneath, which is one of those silver metalized emergency blankets. And this one has some rips on it. So I said, oh, you know, it can't hurt to just play around with it, see what happens. So I put this out here this morning when, it, when the sun came out. It, the temperature out here was 30 something and within minutes it shot up to 60 and right now it's about 80. <laughs> so I was going to put my lettuce out there but that's a little actually too hot for lettuce. So see what I have in here. <laughs> see if I get my shadow off of there. Okay see my cute little three little cute tomato plants in there that I started about two weeks ago inside on a heat mat and there's the thermometer so I can keep track of how hot it is in here. I can feel the warmth. It's nice. It's really nice. So anyway, this is this is my experiment today. I decided that I could use some of this free sunshine. Now inside on the windowsill, I have the other pot of tomato plants that I seeded two weeks ago. And this is actually a very short season tomato. And I, as you can see, I always write on my cups to make sure that I don't forget which it is. These are glaciers and they are a potato leaf tomato, I believe. If you could really see that the leaves are smooth edged, the new leaves, the uh, second leaves, not ripply like most tomatoes are. So anyway, we're going to see what happens with this. I'll probably leave this out here until late afternoon when the sun starts to get low and I'll keep an eye on the temperature. But this is something that you can try. This is on our deck. You could do it outside on the grass up close to the house. One thing about doing it close to the house or up against a wall is these bricks, these bricks actually radiate some of the heat from the sunshine. Once the sunshine goes down, these bricks continue to radiate, which is why if you have a very small edge garden alongside a south-facing south facing wall, um, those plants may last longer into the fall than some of your other gardens that are open to the wind and the cold and don't have that benefit. So this is a couple weeks later. We've had some snow, we've had some really, really, really cold weather. I decided to not use this little setup anymore for the tomato transplants because I'm going to pot them up into half gallon, into right, five gallon buckets. But this is coming kind of handy. <laughs> Remember those lettuces that had the bugs? Well, I decided not to risk getting any of those bugs on my tomato transplants. So I did spray it with the organic spray. I did a couple other things. I can't tell if these bugs are dead or alive, but I put them, I put the plants, the lettuce plants out here under these buckets. There's another one over there. And this is held down by a five gallon bucket with soil that's been used before. And one of the pea shoot trays, which is going to go into the ground at some point or into the compost at some point. One thing I didn't mention 
the reason that I put these bottles under here was simply to get it off the ground, off the deck, so it wouldn't be completely, totally airtight. Because as you see, there's some moisture that builds up inside and that would kill the plants. So this is actually, <laughs> we put this out here out of des desperation to get them out of the house and they've been okay in there, which was awesome because we've had temperatures down into the 20s since I've done this. So this is very interesting. This is food all you ever wanted to know. Always experimenting. Please share, like, subscribe.